In terms of consonants that precede a passaggio, that precede even a, any pitch, for example, I believe, let's say, we're starting a phrase um, and you have sa or ka or, or va or anything. I think you set yourself up for the position, which is, let's say, the amount of space you would need in the back for that note, for its vowel. The consonant will automatically be forward, let's say. So we should be thinking of the vowel space that may happen after the consonant, sa, ka, but yet making sure that we're thinking of preparing the space for the vowel that comes after. So we shouldn't be thinking of the consonant as just forward or in the case of a G, G or a K, let's say if we're thinking a little on the downside. I don't think we need to think that. We need to think of the vowel's position. And an, an, an interesting point, I think, is that goes along with that, is that let's say we have a, a high D and then a high G after it. We're ascending in pitch. Should we be thinking about necessarily the space of the higher note as we prepare before we start singing the phrase? If we're ascending to the high note, should we be thinking of the high note's position early? Not necessarily. Only if the lead into the high note is a short rhythmic duration. Ah, ah, for example. If, we, if it takes some time before we get to the high note, we should prepare for the first note's position in a phrase, not the highest notes of the phrase. We should know mentally, the professional singer should know, the sensation that they're going to probably sing with for the high note, but not be in that high note's position early. Otherwise, they'll have overspaced the lower note, because the higher note generally will have a touch more space. They'll have overspaced that lower note for the noble effort of trying to space for the high note, to love overspace the low note, getting themselves out of position, causing their vocal cords to be a little skewed somehow, the sound not being perfect on that lower note, that will cause the higher note, no matter how hard you try, to not actually be able to go into the position that you actually wanted it to go into. It's a very interesting point, I think. Okay, so every note counts. Every note is in a slightly different position.